What is going on, guys? It's Hunter here. I wanted to shoot this um, video for you guys because um, this is I'm going to show you how to deposit money with VLO, right? So you should already have your demo account rolling. And within that meantime, you need to be uploading your documents so you don't have to wait. You know, when you do want to go live with live money, you don't have to wait on LQDFX to approve you, right? So with that being said, you need to go here, upload your documents. You need a picture of the front of your license and you need a picture of the back of your license, right? So that LQDFX can know who you are, right? Um, then what you're going to do is go down here to proof of residence and you're going to upload a bill, water bill, any type of bill that you want. Just make sure it's not older than three months and make sure that is it it's your current address right and then over here it's uh, other what you're going to upload it here is either you can do anything a bank statement or you can do another bill and uh, you can put water bill over here and electrical bill over here and it'd be totally fine right after you get done with that that's when you'll go into your um, trading account you'll go to your account list you're going to hit your live account you should already have a live account open. You're going to hit deposit and you're going to go to V load. Um, right. And then remember right here, I got caught up in this right here. They LQDFX only allows um, the minimum of $50 vouchers. Right. So remember that. Make sure that you're on a um, uh, when you're buying vouchers, you end up on a 50. Right. So what you're going to do next is hit this button and you're going to put a thousand dollars in most people are putting a thousand right you're going to go to usd or wherever you're from hit submit and first thing you guys are going to do i know it says a thousand dollars here go pay but you need to create an account with velo so right here you go here and um first one see so you'll see my account i'm already i'm already signed in but let's i'll i'll log out really quick so you guys can get a idea of it right yeah. so you'll you'll hit sign in but you're going to register okay you're going to register put your cred credentials in make a password and then you'll have an account right i'll sign in and then you can do everything here you can go to buy and you can just come straight to vload buy vouchers right off the bat you can put euro or usd you got bundle vouchers where you can put you know different dollar amounts of what you want and uh, the pricing about us, contact them, help. Uh, utilize these chats, guys. Um, even the LQDFX, they're really powerful. They uh, answer you immediately uh, within minutes. So um, yeah, utilize them. I'm about to show you how. So I'm gonna go here, go to my account um, and upgrade tier, right? First tier is what you're gonna do is same thing. You're gonna identify documents. You're gonna do, um, um, you're gonna do your license front and back picture, just like you did in LQFX, upload them. Um, you should already have them in your documents, upload them to here. And what you're going to do here, and you're going to ask them, can I be upgraded to tier one now? They're going to look at it. They're going to accept it. And then boom, you refresh your page and you should have a check mark right here. Then, um, then you're going to go on to tier two, right? You're going to do a phone um, number verified. You, what you're going to do is you're going to put your phone number in there. I think they're going to send you a, um, message and um you're going to put a code in and then they're going to verify your uh phone number right and then you're going to do proof of residence you're going to upload another bill make sure this is the same address it has the same address it has your name on it and it's your bill right and then you're going to do a card authorization form i'm about to show you um how to do this one and your credit card scan right so i'm going to go to my documents and then you're going to go to credit card scan. This is how you're going to do it, right? You're going to do um, the, you're going to use the card that you're going to use to buy a voucher, right? And you're going to put your finger over the numbers, except for the last four of your numbers, right? And then, you know, make sure it shows that your expiration date and your first and last name, right? So after you get done with that, hit upload, it uploads it, and you should um, have a check mark. Then, um, you're going to go to your card authorization form. You can sign this digitally or you can print it off and sign it, right? What you're going to do is you're going to put your last name, your first name, your nationality, your email address, your phone number, and your address. Make sure this address is the same, okay? This is very important. 
about your address because they will not approve you if your address is not the same. Okay, now you're going to go to whatever card you're using. Make sure that it's the name on the card. Okay, if it has your first and last name, put that. If it has your first, middle, and last, put that. Okay, and then you're going to go to your card number. You're going to put the first six numbers in, and then you're going to put the last four in. Okay, you're going to put the date. And make sure if you're going to sign this digitally or even if you print it out, make sure you sign it and it's the exact same signature that's on your ID. Okay. And then you'll hit confirm and it'll be uploaded. Right. And then um, you're going to do a bank statement. Okay. Make sure this bank statement is not um, no longer than one month old. Okay. And then uh, make sure that the bank statement has your name on it your address and it has your bank's logo on it okay if it doesn't have your bank's logo on it they will not accept it you hit upload and you can upload it right cool all right and then you should be ready to go there's only one more thing that they require they um have this um offer right here and you have to do this if they don't have this um solution here where you can do another authorization form this right here is for your credit card, I mean, not your credit card, but your social security number, right? So what you'll do is you'll come in the chat and you'll say, hey, I want to upload my social security um, to you guys. Send me your email so I can send it to you guys, right? They're gonna send you an email. You copy the email, you go to your email and you send them your social security. Now, before you do that, before you send your social security number, do not send them your whole social security number. Get a picture of your social security. And what I'm about to do is I'm about to have a pop-up come up on this Zoom right now. And I'm gonna, and it's gonna be shown how to do it. Okay. You're gonna put a, a piece of paper over some numbers, um, and you're only gonna um, let them see the first three of your social security number. You're going to take a picture of it and you're going to send it to them the email. And then you come back to VLOAD and you're going to say, Hey, I've done sent the email to you guys. Um, they're going to, they're going to go and look, they're going to approve it. And then you're going to come back in here and you're going to say, can I be upgraded to tier two? And then they're going to send you a message and they're going to say, yes, you're upgraded to tier two. Um, Refresh your page so you can have this check mark, right? And then you're acceptable to deposit five hundred to twenty five thousand dollars. Okay, um, that's plenty of money. Um, but um, I'm going to be doing tier three in the future. I haven't got to it yet, but I will be doing it for um, people that want to put over twenty five thousand um, dollars. So that's coming. But um, after you do that, you get your vouchers. You buy your vouchers. Whatever you buy. And um, you get into, you know, putting your credentials in to buy your vouchers. Now, listen, this is a tricky part, too. Um, when you buy your vouchers, make sure that you notify your bank that a, a, a amount is coming out of your bank. Right. So they don't flag it and you don't have to worry about calling nobody and blah, 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 blah. Right. So when they pull the money out, it's it's straightforward. It goes through and you can start, you know, funding your account. Then what VLOAD is going to do is they're going to send you an email to the same email that you put in and it's going to be your vouchers, right? So what you're going to do is you're going to go to your email and then you're going to copy those voucher pin numbers and you're going to paste them in here. Then you're going to hit redeem. Okay. And then when you do that, you're going to see your wallet bounce go up. OK, so if they give you, let's say, four or five vouchers um, over this, let's, let's, let's say if they give you two vouchers of five hundred dollars, what you're going to do is you're going to have to copy one, redeem. You're going to have to copy the other, redeem. And then you're going to have a thousand dollars in your wallet. OK, with that being said, then you're going to go after you have a thousand dollars in your wallet, you're going to go back to your trading account. You're going to go to your account list. Right. Um, you're going to you're going to, um, you know, get the account number that you want. You're going to go here and then you're going to go internal transfer. You're going to go from wallet and you're going to go to trading account and then you're going to pick the trading account, the live account that you want to drop the money in. You're going to put the amount right and they're going to hit transfer and it's going to happen within seconds. Right. Same vice versa. If you want to um, deposit uh, money, if you want to pull out money. Um, and then you want to put it back into your wallet so you can do uh, a transfer. Um, you're going to go trading account to wallet, the amount, right? And then you're going to hit transfer and it'll go right back into your wallet. 
pretty simple. So I hope you guys got value out of this. If you have any questions uh, on anything about depositing money into your account, please feel free to reach out to me on Facebook, Instagram. I don't care um, at any given time. So I can um, maybe I can hop on a Zoom with you or anything and help you get to this process. Right. So uh, like I said, I hope you got value out of this. Love and appreciate you guys.